Welcome back to Hellblade 2 Senua's Saga. This place. What is this place? My settlement. In pain. I let my people Broken. here. Promised them a new life. You called this home. An escape from the madness and misery across the sea. But for some time we were happy. Like us. We were happy. Until him. Well, then the volcano and the darkness came. The monster started enslaving people. Iltoyo stalks my settlement when night falls. She tramples our crops and kills what little livestock we've left. We're starving. Why don't you leave? <laughs> we tried. They failed. No matter how far we get by day, as night falls, she hunts us down. And there are children here. People too weak to run. We're trapped. Night on night, our numbers fall. He is asking you to help. No, he isn't. They need you. They are dead if they don't fight back. I guess I'll uh, take this break in the dialogue to welcome you to the video. Uh, this is my third Hellblade 2 video, and it might end up being my last one just because I don't want to remove the motivation for other people to try out this game themselves. Uh, but uh, I've been having a great time with it so far. It's just so over the top, able to show like just human emotion and like let you look into somebody's eyes and see the experience that they're having. They can do things with this game that nobody else can do. And they've chosen to do something that's really interesting. And, you know, exploring the sort of uh, uh, traumatized mind of this woman who is both, you know, she lives under dire circumstances with, you know, raiders uh, decimating her village, people that she loves, you know, dying, but also uh, her mind is already fractured by some form of psychosis. And uh, and so she can't even trust her own senses. And so to to take, you know, the 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 tools for character building, for visual character building that this team has, and then to employ them in such a dramatic way. Uh, it's just, I don't know, I've just loved this franchise because of it. So if this is the first video of mine here that you've watched, uh, that's why I love this game. That's why I'm playing it. And that's also why uh, I'm going to try to avoid interrupting it with my own voice that much, because I just love for this game uh, to speak for itself. So Quick backstory, uh, I went out in hunt uh, in search for uh, the leader of these uh, Northman raiders. I found him, I captured him, uh, but then we found out there are worse people out there, the Drogar, who just apparently summoned giants, uh, and the giants have been attacking villages. We haven't seen a giant yet, but uh, from trailers, I'm pretty sure that in some way or another, they're real. Where is everyone? On the rocks. High. Safe. But if I can't reach them. You should have joined us when we offered you the chance. There is no honor in the path you've chosen. Say that again, old man. And I'll cut you like a fish. Thorgester, have a look around you. Have a thought as to who your real enemy is. What does he mean? Who is the real enemy? The giants are the real enemy. No honor. He said there was no honor in the enslaver's path. Which path did he choose? This place has secrets. She needs to find out. She can see the thread that binds the world, can feel its hidden pulse, and knows when that pulse quickens. She feels it now, a tremor on her skin, a being taking shape. Something is coming. Is 
thing from beneath the earth. He knows. He can sense it too. Can you feel it? Can she? She can feel it. She brings the rage. Did you feel that? She's coming back. It's coming. Wait. Ildoiga. Ildoiga. She destroyed and she will destroy again. To run. Run! Ah! She's here. Let's go. Get, get to the hills! Get out of here. She is reaching, reaching for something. She wants him. Quick, for him. Save him. Quick. She was brave. She's stupid. <laughs> she can see into you. so strong they dream a new world a hell of their own creation and they will not sit lonely in that nightmare if you wake the dreamer does the nightmare die <laughs> When the volcano erupted, it tore open the wall between this world and yet tonight. Now suffers too. The giants came flooding from the east, killing and eating More whomever they could lay their hands on. But now some of us, we hide. You have to fight, not hide. Make defenses, struggle on. And some of us, 
Use others to stem the tides. Others? What do you mean? Tell her, tell her, Thorgestur. Tell me, tell me. Shall I tell her what your father's been doing? What else is there to do, Fagrimmer? We found a way to keep our people safe. He is part of it too, he believes. Your people are dying. Please, there is no other way. Tell us, tell us. What are they doing? The Gorde of Borkarvirki is using slaves. Slaves from your lands. Sacrifices. Sacrifice. He's offering them to the giants so that his people would be left. He hates innocent people. Evil. This stops now. He's a monster. You can't stand alone against us. You have no giants. He does not see, but he can see. His darkness is evil. We can show him. He's a monster. There is another way. There is always another way. Stella has your mark now. If you try to leave the Red Hills, he will hunt and kill you. No. And I will kill her first. She, she can't be killed. It's impossible. I have killed a god, Fagrima. Nothing is impossible. No. There is no way. He is right. We cannot kill the giant. The gods cannot be killed. You can't. You deserve this. Why did you come here, Senua? To stop the slavers. I thought you were helping them. And now you are stranded. Stay. You can't stop them. You can't kill the giant. I will. I will kill the giant. Okay, this is the first break I've had for a little while, but holy crap. Uh, so this is the, when we saw, what's her name? El Toiga, something like that. When we saw her emerge from the ground, I wasn't sure whether to read that as a, a, a hallucination that Senua was having uh, or if she was actually there because so far the first game was entirely from Senua's perspective and you could basically believe anything you wanted to about whether she was having a real experience with gods and you know uh, being haunted by sort of demonic presences that sort of thing or if that was just if that was just a part of her madness um, this is the first time when when that when that uh, spear hit El Toiga in the face and we could see that the other two people also could see her. That was kind of a turning point for me, uh, for my understanding of the series, where I was like, you know, it was ambiguous up to that point. But I think at that point, I mean, unless she's also hallucinating these two men, um, the the fantastical elements of this world are real. They're not just in her mind. Now, there is still stuff that is happening that is just in her mind. This, whatever this forest is that I've just landed in, I think this is still a hallucination. Um, so she has them. But not everything fantastical is a hallucination, and that is interesting to know. You can't kill the giant. They told you so. You have seen it. I gotta say, they did a great job of making her hair interesting to look at. Given that, you know, the perspective of the game has you looking at it all the time, I can imagine they put a ton of time into making these, this bundle of braids just look fascinating. 
a light to banish the darkness. Can I just point out how good this fire looks? It's not just the human faces these folks are good at. Look at that. down anymore. Was I supposed to do that? You can't hurt me. <laughs> You can't keep me trapped! Okay, real quick, let's remind ourselves how to fight, because I've been playing a few other games in between. So, fast attack is X, heavy attack is Y, blocking, parrying, that's RB, uh, evade is A, and focus is both of the triggers. All right, uh, we're already taking some damage, let's uh, see what we can do here. So just to fill you in on what's happening there. So I'm basically using RB to block and A to evade as much as I can to avoid damage. I'm hitting them with X and Y. And then at some point, that mirror at my belt starts glowing. And at that point, I hold the focus button and I go after them. Um, and that's when I can actually do, I think, real damage to these guys. I think these particular nightmare warriors can only be killed with focus attacks, and that's why I'm using them so much. When I'm fighting flesh and blood people, I tend to hold back on my focus and use it only when I need it because I won't have it all the time. I think I'm not exactly sure what actions build it up. If it's hits or evades or blocks or all of them together, I'm not sure what it is, but something builds up that focus. And, uh, and so because I don't have it all the time, I try to save it for special occasions. In this case, every occasion is a special occasion. The only <laughs> Listen to me, Senwa. I speak for the gods. The only way to appease them is with sacrifice. Burning flesh and spilling blood fill the skies with smoke. Torch. You can't 
do anything without your torch. Trapped there here now forever. Think. Sets us free. This looks so flammable. Like, <laughs> I feel like it's been given to me so that I can light it afire, but uh, I'm trying to interact with it and it's not a thing, so. Hmm. That seems red, glowy, and dangerous. So maybe I try one of these barriers? You will never be free, never safe, unless you heed my words. You can't hurt me. I carry the light. Light fades, Senua. Light can be... killed. The darkness is all that persists. Your only constant. There is no way out. This says trap to me. There is always a way. No. Who will see? There will be a blow can't recover from. An abyss you can't crawl out of. A nightmare you can't wake from. And I will be waiting. I say, or you will have the gods. Oh, did I mention that the dark voice in her head is modeled on her father, who is always very abusive and mistreated her and her mother because of their um, unusual way of thinking? That's that's her dad's voice. I wonder if this voice is meant to be somehow guiding me through this maze. Hmm, red glow. This reminds me of the maze in Ocarina of Time where you'd have multiple exits, but you could kind of tell which one were trustworthy by sound and the way they transitioned when you approached them. It 
it's time to give up, child. Leave this land. No. What you did to me, I see it here. They are cowed like I was. Lost like I was. Believing what they're told. Sacrifices. Spilling blood for a lie. I speak the truth. darkness now. I see through your lies, and I will show them how to see as I do. I will not appease your gods. I will destroy them. tried to hold you down in the darkness. Darkness. Told you there was no way out. That the gods ruled you. But you fought back. You were strong. Maybe you can fight back now. She can fight back. She can. Maybe there is a way to pull through. There is always a way to pull through the darkness. Darkness. To kill the giant. She will find a way. She is strong. You are powerful. She is stronger than this. You can kill her gods. She knows the truth. She sees it now. Tell him. You are wrong, Fagrimer. The giants, they can be killed. But there is a way. I'm not sure I believe that. But I think if anyone can find a way, it's you. He knows we are special. Before, when I rescued you, he understood. He said you were you. waiting for me. He felt us coming. But I'd never met you. How can he see inside well, I you? I knew someone would come. Somebody different. You are different. Somebody with the ability to look at the world and see what might be. You are special. Now what is? She's not special. And that is you. She's just like the others. No, she I've is special. I've seen you listening to the voices that we cannot hear. To the Verdir and Gandir. Voices? How does he know about us? You have the ability to see behind the veil. You are a Seth a seer. Whether you know it yet or not. A seer? What is this he speaks of? Do you know, Senwa? Do you know this is you? Iltoiga. Where does she go when the sun is up? She brings suffering to everyone. A monster. She hides down there. Hiding? Waiting. Under the cover of the cliff. She's there most days. Just staying close. These people live in waiting fear. Waiting for us to slip. Constant in. fear. They are waiting but to You cannot die. approach you down there in the shadows. You don't stand a chance. And she won't come out until it's night. You have to do something. This is why you have been called here, Senua. They shouldn't live in fear. He knows. Listen to him. Have you heard of the hidden folk? Hidden folk? The hidden folk? Yeah. Have you heard of them? A secret people, powerful, aloof. Once they were gods or something like, but now they hide themselves in the earth. Even the giants steer clear. The giants fear them. If the giants fear them, they must hold the key to death. They hold the secret. Will they help us? Well, they have no love for men. Whatever ties we have are weaved from heartbreak and despair. Oh, 
I did consume that bit of bread. He has found them. Just once. So it is not impossible. What I saw. If he can find them, you can find <laughs> them. They will. They will test you. We have been tested before. They might before. even try to kill you. But if you win their favor... We might die. They might give you what you seek. Where can I find them? They will give us what we seek. There's a rock. Close to here. Where they are said to live. Its entrance is hidden. You might find it. She will find it. They want you to? You will. I will find it. We might die down there. No. We could die trying to find them. They will give us what we seek. They are dangerous. But they will help us. We will make them. Make them. They know things. They can see things. They can hear things. They are the ones that pulled us here. They are the feeling that brought us here. They will save everyone from death. They will show you how to end the giants. They will save you. But be careful. No more sacrifices. Be careful, Senwa. This stops now. She has been chosen. All the lost ones. Only she can save them. All the people here dying in this nightmare. Only she can set them free. And she's running out of time. Every day that dies, every sun that sets, another loses their life. Light fading from their eyes and name cast away on the wind. And soon the sun will set for good. symbol on this one. A new mechanic? Hmm. Can't climb that. This thing is gorgeous, by the way. <laughs> like, somebody had a lot of fun making that thing. There. Well, uh, not just another stone. No, something special. It is an offering. Yes. It's them. The world has changed. of the hidden ones is like a mirror universe but it's it's a sunless universe because the sky is full of the other world so it turns a open landscape into a cave Find the offering. 
Hi, La Coalition. Look, is anyone dead? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. Will she fail this test? She will not fail. They are listening, watching. We will see what is hidden. We will see. I don't see the bodies they're reacting to. I do like how her thoughts seem to wander a little bit. Like she'll notice things that have nothing to do with what she's doing right now. Just like real trains of thought. That last puzzle wasn't particularly challenging, but I think they were just trying to introduce the mechanic. What is that? Don't think I can climb this. This must be the exit to something. Traditional puzzle. Oh wait, no. Just the collectible. The gods say that the neighbors fought, armed only with the knives and axes they had brought to cut up the whale, even picking out the whale ribs to beat down their enemies. Thorgrim's men had loaded their boats with whale meat, but as they went to leave, one of their opponents struck Thorgrim's brother a fatal blow. And this is how hunger fates desperate men to come to blows, striking out against one another to survive. It looks like I've missed five of these things. It seems ridiculous that there would have been so many that I had the opportunity to miss. I didn't feel like I had a lot of choices about where to go. For, I mean, most of this game feels like it's deliberately you know, a tunnel that you walk through to get to certain places and have certain experiences. <laughs> and that's fine. I mean, I'm not asking for an open world game here. What I want is to play through this story. You know, the, uh, you know, I think the purpose of making a game like Hellblade 2 um, a game at all. You know, because if you think about it, it's telling a linear story about a particular person. This is the kind of thing that theoretically could be like an animated movie or something like that. Um, but they chose to make it a game, I think in part because um, a, such a huge component of the story they're telling about Senua... Well, actually, first off, they're a game developer. Of course they're going to make a game. But the reason why this story should be a game instead of you know it, it being more appropriate for it to be something else is because, in my mind... A huge component of the story is Senua's self-doubt, her, her question about whether or not she can overcome the obstacles in front of her. And, and, you know, and they put these fantastical obstacles that, you know, that are many of them created within her mind as nightmares designed to, to cause her to, to despair. And 
so it's such a huge component of it is just that question of can I overcome this? And so that makes it a very appropriate for a game because when you're looking at it, you also can't be sure you can overcome it. You're right there along with her. If it, if this was like a movie or something like that, you would, you know, your investment in whether or not she can do it is as an outsider. It's as, you know, someone who, well, you know, if this story is a tragedy, then she can't do it. If it's a, you know, if it's a more upbeat sort of thing in the end, then she can do it. Um, but either way, the outcome is predetermined. You, you, you know you don't have any control over it. In this case, you're actually sharing her doubts. You can't be sure that you're good enough at the late parts of the game to overcome the stuff that she's facing. And so you end up being enmeshed with her in her self-doubt um, in a way that you wouldn't be if you were just the passive audience of you know more linear media. So... Um, so anyway, so the, the reason why when I say, you know, this, this game is a tunnel like experience, that's not a knock against the game. You know, some people complain about games that are more tunnel like and, and, and sort of take the attitude that all games should be very open ended and very player driven. And I don't think that's necessarily true. I do generally like to play games that are very open ended and player driven. That is my favorite kind of game as a general rule. But I also really love high production values, storytelling games like Hellblade, like The Last of Us, like, you know, many others in that in that kind of genre, because I think there is some value to having the audience member be a participant in the story um, in certain kinds of stories uh, rather than just being a passive observer. I think that, that people who are very skilled at telling these kinds of stories are good at integrating the player, you know, the, the uncertainty and the sort of control and the responsibility for the outcome that comes with having a player, uh, they can integrate that into the storytelling in a really positive way that sort of builds on the story's effectiveness. There are many ways in which telling a traditional story with a game can undermine the story, you know, can, can sort of like, because the player's invested in it on a gameplay level, that, that undermines the seriousness of the story. The story sometimes becomes just a reward for achievement or just, uh, you know, like, like the, the story becomes a lesser part of the experience and therefore is is just, you know, it, it's less effective at delivering what it, it tries to deliver. Um, but very skilled video game storytellers can integrate the player as, you know, as an audience member, but as a participant in a way that enhances the story rather than pull, pulling it back. And, uh, you know, Ninja Theory is very good at that. Noggity Dog is very good at that. And then there's a handful of others that are very good at that. Uh, but it's a hard thing to do. So as a general rule, I do prefer games, usually, where the game is more about the player's experience interacting with the mechanics and it's less about the story. Because most of the time, that's the best balance for the kind of story that's being told. Um, in, and, and for the kind of gameplay that people you know, are trying to engage in. Here, they've chosen a different mix, but they've chosen it very carefully, very cleverly, and they're operating at the top of their art. And, and so I really love this kind of thing, too. I thought this was a path at first, but it is not. It's just, it's just beautiful. Like, I want to go here, but <laughs> it's not a path. happens when I grab this? How far will you go to find us? We will find you. They 
doubt us. We don't. Find the altar. Look at that. Last time, I think that the ceiling and the floor were identical. This time, there's something on the ceiling that isn't on the floor. Again, I can't state enough how much I love this concept of a mirror world that turns reality. Like, this, like the original altar is in the same place. It turns our actual reality into a cave by mirroring the ground. That's such a cool idea. It's such a cool visual. The fact that I can see kind of a ghostly image, like it's reflected in water, of myself above me. So, is this what I want to do? Okay, there's two ways to go. I can see another offering up there, though. Whoa. Okay, I focused on that thing, and something changed. More bodies. Bodies. They came to ask for help, and now they are dead. Oh. It's on the ceiling now. Does that I think I didn't understand what was happening before. When I focus on this thing, it looks like it flips part of the world. Oh, so I had to flip it to get access to this place. Because this cliff is only on one side. But the offerings on the other side. Okay, this is coming together. She can see what is hidden. She understands what is hidden. Can she? Don't doubt. So now that bridge that I saw on the ceiling is on the floor. So now this bridge is blocking my access to the place where I just created the offering. So now I have to focus it again. And I can only focus from certain angles. That's what the rings are for, is to show me the angle I have to look at it from. Bring it back to them. Let them see you are not like the others. I'm not like the other girls. Thread to hidden thread. Mm. 
What does it mean? It's a sign. You're on the right path. Yes, she can still hear them. She can. We can follow them. You have to follow them now. Over there. It's coming from down there. All of those runes showing that I had missed collectibles makes me feel like I should be looking for alternate paths. But I kind of don't like focusing on collectibles in games like this, so maybe I won't worry about it this time through. no spiraling doorway. There is an offering. It looks like... I mean... It feels like there should be a bridge here. Oh, wait. Here we go. They question you. Are you the one, Sen? She has to be. The lake is here, too. Look at the water. This doesn't feel right. So deep and dark. It is trying to claim us. Trying to take you down. that thing to ground level but oh is it accessible okay it is i thought i needed a bridge or something to get to it but no it's got its own ramp So it looks like there's two parts of the map that that one switches, and I think it just it brought down. Droika, why are they here? Were they seeking the hidden route? This is not a good sign. What are they doing here? They will kill you. They will find you. They will kill you. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
to not be on fire okay this is the one guy i've never solved and so i often in the past have held up uh held, like held on to my focus so i could use it on him this time i avoided it because i wanted to see can i avoid being caught on fire <laughs> i've tried parrying it which of course sounds ridiculous but whatever it's a video game i've tried dodging it but but he he spews it in this wide arc where most of the time I get hit by it anyway so I'm trying to think maybe I need to preempt him with an attack I hadn't thought about that so I'm not sure how far back this is going to send me but let's let's see if that'll work Okay, so I think there was some subtle directionality to his his drinking of the alcohol that might have been meaning to like hint at what direction I needed to dodge. So maybe it is dodgeable if I know the direction to dodge. So I was able to defeat him without using focus, but I, and and it was because I was able to dodge at least one of his flame attacks. But it was Mostly luck of the draw, but I, I think I might be getting a handle on it. Not sure. <laughs> So I think this platform was created by one of these. And now I've brought that down. But why? What's it for? There must be some combination of this that makes sense.
Okay, so... Okay, I think this might have closed the door. This is very odd. I'm taking the implication that actually this entire route might have been open when I first got here and I closed it myself by interacting with things. I'm not sure. Oh. Oh. Okay, yeah, so this platform... It's clear up above, so yeah, all right. I think there was an episode of Columbo <laughs> that included something like this. Where there was a path that was open. It, there was like a, it was some kind of puzzle contest or something. And there was a path that was open, but it looked closed. And so people would always take action to try to open the path. And when they did that, they would close it. Okay, so that's open. And so now, if you go back and make the flip again. I don't remember if I actually... You know what actually probably happened? I probably did need... The thing I just did, I probably did need to do it. But I did it right before the drugger attacked me. And I forgot that I had done it. So I did it again after the fight. And so I basically undid my own work. That's probably what happened. Because I think that... I think that's what we want. One thing I do really appreciate is at no point did Senua or any of her voices say we have to open the path by flipping the thing on the ceiling. <laughs> no one said that. I, I just... Thank you. she keeps hidden, pushed down, covered with silence. Fagrima saw that too, no matter how much she tries to hide it from the world. But now that part of her that scared her for so long, that she fought so hard, has brought her to this place, chosen, special. But will she be enough? What will they ask of her? Can she give it? Well, now we know why they invested so heavily in water tech. Good to them. 
like Senwa. They will tell, <sighs> tell us how to kill a giant. You know what that means, do you, Senwa? No more sacrifice. Once again, she is leaving the sun, leaving the world. Plunging into the unknown places which no light touches. She has always been afraid of the dark. A deep, still silence that blinds her eyes till she thinks she will never see again. But there is a thread this time. Connect her to the ones above. She has promises to keep. She will not let them down. special. It was a trick. It's getting smaller. Where is it taking her? Everything you have done has brought you here. To nothing. Nowhere. Maybe your father was right. Maybe you are nothing. Maybe you will die here. Just like the others. No one will remember you. You will be. Be careful with your torch. Don't let the torch die. If the light goes out, we will be lost here forever. Look. What? A light. There is a light at the end of the darkness. They're coming back. They're here. Look at the light. You will find a way. You are always supposed to come here. Yes, this feels right. The color is beautiful. Something here to find. Find it. Trust yourself. So the blue, the blue haze means there's something to be revealed. Yes, look at the colors of the rocks. Yes. She knows what she has to do. It's leading you somewhere. Where? Where is it taking us? Taking you. So yeah, I'm assuming that if I put out that fire, this will become a doorway. The question is, how do I get to the fire? I attempted to climb up this and uh, it doesn't work. And there's no blue ramp. Does that mean I have to backtrack? Or, oh.
light there. There. Follow it. Beautiful. Entrancing. What does it mean? It must mean something. There's something to be done here. There's What's something. to be done? To do. Find out. All right. I'm a little nervous because I've got this door in front of me that I want to open. I'm not sure I want to open the one behind me. Yes, she found a way. Sometimes things hide in the darkness. Sometimes they hide in the light. Huh. Something did change up there, but it was subtle. It didn't change what I had oh, access to. Uh. And yet more darkness. More rock. Deeper and deeper into the earth we go. This could still be a trick. It could still be a trick. You could be lost here forever. Uh, I can't what is this? breathe. No, someone no. This may be my only option. Turn around. Wait, listen. What was that? Voices. You said them. Are they telling us? What are they telling us to do? There's only one way to find out. Water. Water everywhere. This must be a special place. You could still. I just want to point out that both when we were first entering the cave and at that moment, they always made me do some kind of interaction. Like when we were first going down into the lake bed, I actually tried, like, you know, it, it, stopping pushing the stick because it looked like she was doing a custom animation to go down there. But she was doing that animation step by step and would not continue unless I kept pushing forward. And similarly, in that moment when I was sort of queued up to jump down in that hole, they waited until I pressed a button before I would actually go down into the hole. So they just, you know, they, they didn't they didn't have Senua do these things by herself, just in a cutscene. They made sure that I was taking each of these actions, including that last one that looked like it might have killed her. Die. Something here, you can feel it. I can't see it, but can feel it. It feels wrong. It did suffer. Was it pain? It gets light. Look, left alone in the darkness. Light like before. To get through there. Go under. Put the torch down. I just have to react. That was profoundly creepy. Just showing a flash that there is something under the water with you, but then making you go through the rest of it just above the water, like taps into some very deep fears. Through that. Not sure what this is. I think I need to restore that.
there is a path to find somewhere. Where is it? will guide the way will it you have to trust it this is a different kind of light what else can you do but trust it she doesn't have a choice all right so i'm not sure what that did let's see if anything's different when i snuff this sometimes she needs the light but sometimes So I assumed that they showed this light here, just to tell me that was a torch, so that I could know to light the next one, but I don't know why I lit that one. Oh, wait. Okay, so if I pass through the water, my torch is snuffed, and so I needed to light that so that I could pass my fire through. And then what's this? Something dark calls to us. What is it? Speaking to you. I, rem for you. I remember. Knows we. I remember passing through that bridge when I was in the water. And actually, when I first put that ramp up, I thought it was in the same place as the bridge. It's easy to get turned around in this spot, but yeah. So I hope I don't have to fight that glowing dude. <laughs> yeah. How can we prove ourselves? She has to prove herself. You must. you to get lost. They take you away. And when you return, years have passed. Will that happen to us? A shadow. A shadow. Should you follow them? I don't know. It disappears and leaves her in the dark. The darkness reveals this place is playing tricks on us. I don't like it. They are waiting. They are here. They are lurking. in the water. They know what you're scared of. They can hear us. They can hear you thinking. They can hear what we fear. Quiet now. The hidden folk are toying with you now. There is a reason for this. Playing with you. They're testing me. You can feel that something is wrong. Turn back. Is it too late to turn back? The hidden folk have grown malicious. Ah. <laughs> Growing, something coming. I can feel it. Something is wrong here. It's so wide. Yes, it's it. opening up. There is darkness in there.
the light. It keeps them away. Don't listen to them. I don't like it. I don't like it in here. Trying to take you. They're preying on your fear. Don't let them. Shame. I don't like it in here. So now something is coming. Something is coming, something is coming, something doesn't feel right here. This part seems like a real bad plan. In the water, through a waterfall. But I don't see another option. to them and open your eyes. You can only hide for so long and then you must take the plunge. I'm not sure what I accomplished here because I think I might have to leave the area through another waterfall. I think I need to get over there. I think these guys are going to kill me if I step There's in without... Path, yes. Follow it. A path of light. path of light, you have to go there. Oh! Oh! This is a case where I'm really glad for... the voices and what they're saying. They gave me the hint I needed, because I just... It, it wasn't occurring me, to me to look at the surface of the water. There's lit surfaces and dark surfaces. I couldn't have made it across unless I wrote, unless I lit that light. But now that I have, I can stay in the lighted portions. Mostly.
there is no other way. Put your head under water and take a deep breath. So, as I'm imagining this world a little bit, I'm, I'm wondering, is that actually a test, this whole sequence? Has this been a test? Or is this just the way that the hidden folks stay safe? Um, you know, like, the giants can't go in here because then they would be dragged down into these pools by all of their dead. I don't know. That's the way I'm thinking about it anyway. Some things can only be done alone. No sound. Just the darkness. Who is that? I thought we were alone. I thought we were alone. What is that? What is that? What are they doing? In the end, the lie is the beginning. Make your way. Something needs to be done. Wait. Was this outside before? What is this place? Sky. So beautiful. How is it possible? Too deep for this kind of beauty. What is that? Who is that? It needs your help. To cross. But not right now, because I've been doing this for an hour and a half. So um, I'm not sure if I'm to come back and uh, make videos of the rest of this game at some point. For right now, I think I'm going to say that I'm done, uh, mostly just because this game is still fairly new. I want people to have a motivation to come and just play it themselves. So uh, it's on Game Pass if you have that, or I, I believe that it's available both on the Xbox and on, like, Steam, I think. Uh, but in any case, there should be a link in the description if you want to go grab it yourself. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm very curious what's at the end of this path uh, that she's followed. So I'll be continuing along on my own. Uh, maybe someday in the future uh, I could come back and decide to make the rest of these videos once, you know, the game has basically sold through and they're not making money off it anymore. But I want Ninja Theory to succeed. You know, like the stuff that they're making here is just so in a different world from what everyone else is making. Uh, I just, I really want them to be able to continue and I want them, I want this game to work. So thank you for watching all of this so far. And yeah, please support these folks. Go out and get this game and experience it for yourself. I know I've been really happy uh, that I have. So anyway, there is a subscribe button and links to other videos. Uh, if I do eventually come back and make more Hellblade 2 videos, I'll put the next one here. Uh, but chances are I won't have yet when you watch this. So just see whatever is over there.